all in here. And... No. <laughs> oh, come on, phone. Why did you have to do that? Oh. I'm going to get a video of us leaving the station up to a trap or something. Ah, it's all open this bit. You need to hear it scream, you know. Literally, because it went like across the entire province at some point. Prince George. Yeah, Prince George. Um, I don't know about Kelowna or Kamloops, but I know the Fraser Valley, Whistler, yes. Nanaimo. I think even uh, Cam Comox and Campbell River, I believe. It did the same thing at 730 now. Yeah. Just several decades, a few decades later. <laughs> yeah. Also hearing more of a rumble. Oh, yeah, to put the axle in neutral. Well, what you have to do, not do the regular axle. I have to pull the shafts up. Uh, the motor is this one. I 
Peter Alf, it's me. I'd be purposefully staying, staying right behind this bus. I wouldn't follow it, though. That would be creepy. The lights went out. Yeah, that's the tension. That's the controls. Ah. Uh, trying to scare us now. Oh, yeah. I need to adjust my strap so that it doesn't strain my neck. I'm going to break my SLR today. I did that yesterday. It's one of those classic E4 LF rides. I have this thing everywhere. You know, I'm actually going to get some. Oh, it's funny. It's just programming. It's uh, had a bit of trouble with it. Yeah. Surprisingly, the iPhone does better. Oh yeah, I use my phone for videos as well. This does not have auto focus because it's recording. Yeah. Oh, then it's moving here. No video Unless you're pressing the button down. Well, like it does over here, but like it changes the exposure to get it focused. So, at that point, you just bring one of these. Unless you want to use video. Similar to the ones on the uh, trolleys, actually. Fox, yeah, we, I think the trolleys use Maribor that. Yeah. They tried. They changed it when they were speaking out. Because they tried Man, I think, when they first got them. On the first one, 2101. I know the ISC. I know the ISC BC Transit units had Maribor axles alongside the ISC. I actually rode one. Did you prefer the Maribor? Yeah, I prefer I prefer to I, I prefer the Mons. The actual communication yeah, one that's actually other Mons. Mons. I say man because well, what's that? <laughs> I kind of I actually did the same. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it's I, well, originally I called it I think the M A N and then I just called it the Mans and then I learned it was actually pronounced yeah. Mons. So. That's interesting. Uh, 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 yes, they did actually. Washington D C. And buses. And they're uh, D40 LFRs and C40 LFRs with uh, Excuse me. Maribor Act. Can I have one of those buzzards? Oh, sure. This one's actually it says 80, 86 on it. Oh, excellent. Yeah, it is different. Yeah, there's two people different ones in That's so cool. And yeah, there's a few that were different ones. That one, on on I was at the yeah. shop. I got I got a buzzard okay. that was before the 509 came in. Wow. Oh, it was damn. like 509 E root. Wait, which one? Coming soon. When, on um, which year was it? Buzzer or a schedule was a from 84. That's from my house here. I think I still have my buzzers and whatnot in my bag because I forgot to take the I just, I have them sitting somewhere at home. Oh my goodness, we're at the top of the cliff. I'm going to... It's like, uh, pity if they need a fire truck to come through there. Yeah... I remember you so First of all, that was a full Yeah, Anthony sent it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, God. I was, I was like, is that the front, front bumper? And I was like, is that the front bumper? That's the guard for yeah. the wheelchair ramp. Yeah, you told me. Yeah. And I guess you figured out who I was on uh, Discord. Yes. Yeah. And you have now figured out who I was Yeah, I don't remember. Ooh. I'll find it. Where the hell is my lens case? Ooh, I magically changed lenses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to this day, I still haven't bought an exchangeable lens camera. Ah, my uh, Nikon that I have right now, 
Yeah, it's 20 to 2,000. Yeah. Oh, it's that one. Yeah. I've heard of that thing. It seems pretty cool. It's just trying to figure out the night photography. That's why I'm interested. Yeah. yeah, I know it's like a floating. It's like a floating. Yeah, what the fuck? The people walking those, place. the people walking those dogs, they just look totally like they're like, they're what like, is what the hell? What are they doing? Oh, the place with the cul-de-sac and it hit the guy's driveway. That was a what the f is a bus doing over here? Is that? So we're not going up there again. Oh. Are we going up here again? Um, oh, yeah. I don't know what the deal is. Because this was done exactly. later in the tour last time. Oh. Maybe they just changed the order. Oh my god, why is this, this is like feeling like... Dad's the one directing up front now. Oh god. So, you know, I was even, I was recently saying, like, we kind of fun to like try one of these buses, but I... This part here kind of, this idea scares me, honestly. I mean, I need to realize it's not going to make any difference of the gear of the bus. Like, it's like, any bus is going to do this. Like, this is an L drive that we were driving. Or this is an XN40. It would be the same, the exact same, like... I mean, if it was a 30-footer. Oh, yeah, it would be a lot easier. I, mean, I think we could probably just turn this thing around like it was a 30 You know what would be funny? If somebody put an ISM and a V500R in a 30-footer. A 330-horse ISM in a 30-footer. Well, the, the really closest funny. that happened to that was um, uh, was in uh, on King County Metro. Um, they actually did. Um, did now, they have 30-foot Phantoms with an ISM? Sadly not, but they had the 35-foot ones with them. Oh, damn. Yeah, so, well, M11, but... What the hell is M11. Is M11. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, my God, that is so impressive. That was... Very that very was impressive. kind of... That was like... That was... I was getting, I was getting a little nervous there. That's probably the most impressive one I've seen so far today. That is um, on a hill. No, it's not that because there, it's being converted into the next museum. Oh, oh, yeah. I was, I was also, well, yeah, I, I knew that. Like I was saying, more I mean, refrain. If you guys ever get three one oh six running again, it would be something. Find us some brake parts if you like. Oh yeah. So, All right, everybody, it's our first stop. <laughs> Ten minutes here. Oh, All right. Yeah. <laughs> Out of curiosity, has that actually ever happened where somebody actually did get left behind? Uh, a little bit, and we were actually game people. One year we had somebody in Richmond who did on our D40. Ooh. Uh, Steve's did. Good. 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 That was before that, before his week was still, uh, was still around. There's one guy I think I remember hearing this story. Apparently, there's a guy who thought like the who thought the uh, 64 fishbowl was actually quite in good service. Some will just think, oh, that's our bus. At least it wasn't like uh, one fan trip in August. The traffic supervisor came and asked for assistance from us when on the grill. Why? Because there was a problem with the 98 meeting. Oh, oh yeah, take care of those two. Or take a bunch of people just out of downtown. It's a drop up at the end of the Grand Prix Street, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're being held up. Yeah. So you can't go like that. Yeah. You go straight.
center. We'll pass this guy for a couple of times. Yeah. Watch out for Lafarge Lake. Oh yeah, I know about that one. <laughs> oh, that's the no. But there will be an offer at the end of the trip to go past them. That's to drop people off the mission. Uh, oh, that's why. So that's why I've seen videos of, um, of, of like, of like, of from I guess what looked like Lafarge Lake instead. Yes. Well, what it was after our trip yesterday. Uh, there was a couple of people that stayed on the bus after we told them the plan that uh, we would drop them off by the Lafarge Lake Mission. Yeah. So that's where they came from. Yeah. Yes. Or you 
trust. A certain feeling. Oh, yeah, I don't know. She lives near me. I don't know. Yeah, I swear, those, those Eco Life buses, oh my gosh. Eco Life is good when programmed correctly. Yep. But it isn't here. Yeah, not at all. But we, uh, just like he says, I it's right with the Drupal 6 to hell and that. Imagine the first day ends up getting, um, we end up getting snow and it's like has to be all 40 foot. Yeah. Yeah. That moment on the first day of the R6 is on New Year's Day, so I it was the early morning at night. Actually, the second is Dad and I got to an argument. I got into an argument before I got to that the service changes happen on the first. So there's one day where they're going to have reduced our 319 service and yet they're not going to have the R6. Yeah, remember it's a holiday. True, but it's like that just makes no sense. If the R6 is supposed to run every day, it's like, wouldn't you think it would also start then? Yeah, they want to start at the second, so the. Oh my god. Wow. I guess at least you can pace your um yourself in terms of like in terms of like what you want to write yeah. because like you know as you know that the uh, two is also going to be getting um uh, Arctic so and the three twenty three as well I believe and then the five hundred three is losing them so you can do those and then I guess do the R six and then the next day. Supposedly, yeah. With a smart ass, did the four two zero on the <laughs> yeah. Because we saw another picture of the upcoming delivery that was still a little bit, and somebody did that to the dogs. Hmm, interesting. The fire factory worker. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, that's who's doing it. Because I know I ain't getting there. And the last pictures I took of those other buses of color was on the video of this bus. Because it was in there for servicing. R4 as well, actually. Oh, yeah, the R4 drivers are insane. I would know that as I ride that road. That's 41st, right? Um, yes, yeah, 41st. We the bus is the death around uh, Parisdale. Yeah, the, the issue though is that, I, I mean, I, I, if I to be honest though, I think part of the issue is actually on Translink because they don't give the drivers enough run time. Yes. And also, then the layover is absolute like crap. And then they get like five minutes layover. It's I like. Saw that the days of the NBA oh, God. And they took the bus way out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is nothing new, it looks like. So there used to be a coming from the Vancouver Community College downtown. That either I could go to stadium for the train or go to the station. You get 98 bays behind the end of the
30 years. Classic once, and um, ironic enough, was actually the it was um, it was four two seven six on the, on the Harrison Hot Springs fan trip. Um, unfortunately, I don't really remember much about it. Damn, you all went all the way out there. Um, Harrison Hot Springs. We have gone well, with the other fair one we did was Stay at Falls. Oh wow! Visual lost the bus out there. See, see that? Yeah. We almost we didn't realize there was a serious problem with the bus.
Meanwhile, I'm still kind of hot, actually. Ow. Oh. <laughs> That's fine, though. I don't want to. I mean, that window's open, so.